Now, in this video, we will going to show how to solve this projections of lines problem number 55. It is read as a line has its end capital A, 10 mm above OHP and 15 mm in front of VP. The end capital B is 55 mm above HP and is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. The distance between the end projectors is 50 mm. Draw the projections of the line and determine the true length and its inclinations with VP. So now we are going to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software. So first we will go to the software screen, switch off the ortho mo grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Then go to command limits. So here specify lower left corner by default 0, 0, enter it. Upper right corner will come on 9, 297, 2, 210. 297, 210. So limits 0, so 297, 210. Now then zoom all, then go to line, select some arbitrary point, click on the first button of the mouse. This is another mode of uh, entering, uh, uh, drawing the A4 size sheet. And go to offset, take the 297, select this and offset to the left side and then go to offset, take the distance as 210, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side. And go to zoom extent and zoom 0.6x. Then go to fillet between these two, between these two and between these two. Now we'll go for creating the layer. So go to layer, click on new, type the layer by name xy. Click on new, type the layer by name front view and enter. Click on new, type the layer by name top view and enter. Click on new, type the layer by name true length and enter and click on new, type the layer by name locus. Then go to layer 0, change the line weight 2.05 mm thickness. Then XY line should have the 0.13 mm thickness. Then front view should have 0.5. Okay. True view should also have 0.5. Okay. Then true length should have 0.3. And locus line should have 0 0.05. Then you come down to front view should have the color as magenta. And the top view should have the color as uh, red. And the true line should have a color of uh, index color 30. Then the locus continuous line type should change to dash dot. So click on load. So come down to dash dot. So come down to continuous, uh, click on load, type dash dot and say OK and click on dash dot and say OK. Now we have changed all the characteristics and properties of the layer. Now we'll go for a line command. So first we're going to draw a horizontal line of any distance. Then uh, you just uh, go to offset, take 10 mm above XY line and 15 mm below XY line. So go to offset, take the distance as 10 mm and select this horizontal uh, line and offset to the top side then go to offset take distance 15 select this xy line and offset to the bottom side then go to line select some arbitrary point and go to line select some arbitrary point and draw a vertical line then go to fillet between these two and also fillet between these two then we have uh, take the offset distance as 55 so go to offset, take the X from XY line, you measure 55 mm and offset. Go to offset, take the distance as 55, select this horizontal line and offset to the top side. Then what you need is you draw a line inclined at 30 degrees so that it is going to cut the locus of B in the front view. So then go to line, take INT of this. So by, in the, by using the relative polar, po relative polar coordinate system, so I will take 100 less than 30. Then go to trim. So select this as the cutting edge and select this as the object to trim. Then once you do that, then we want to draw, uh, take a 10 mm, 50 mm uh, distance between the end projectors. Then go to offset, take the distance as 50. Uh, go to offset, take the distance as 50. Select this horizontal line, vertical line and offset to the top side, uh, left side, right side. Then go to extend. Select this as the object to extend and select this also as the object to extend. 
extend this on this side and this on this side. Now, once you get this, so now this uh, distance between end, end projectors is cut the locus line here. So I will draw a line from intersection part of this to intersection part of this. So once you get this, now we need to draw a projector from here to this line. This is horizontal line. And then from there you draw an arc so that you will go to get the locus of B in the top view. So to do that, so first you will go to line, take INT of this and take perpendicular to this. And then go to fillet between this line and this line and then go to circle, take INT of this and take intersection part of this. Then go to line, take INT of this and take intersection part of this. So now we have the top view, then go to trim, trim between these two, trim between these two, here and here. Then go to erase, then go to line, take INT of this. So we have the top view, so that means you need to get the different projector on this side and then go to extend, select this side, the boundary and object to extend at this then go to trim trim this line this is the cutting edge and object to trim as this now we need to find uh, the true length so go to circle take int of this and draw intersection of this so once you do that so we have an arc here and then from there you draw a perpendicular to this line so to do that so go to trim trim between this inclined line and this horizontal line and trim this portion then go to erase erase this line then go to fillet between these two then go to line take int of this take perpendicular to this and take intersection part of this then go to break break this line till here then break this line till here so break this line uh, till here and then break this line till here. Similarly, you break this uh, line till here and you break this line till here. Then go to zoom window. Now we go to select this line, go to layer, you make this as XY. Then uh, you select this true length between these two. Select this layer as a true length and you click on the line weight display on. Then go to front view, select this layer, click on front view. Then uh, again, you just go to this line, go to layer, make this as top view. Then you select this line and this line. So you change this layer to locus. Then go to line type scale and make it 10. And now once we change this, now we need to go for dimensioning. So to do that, first I'll go for DDIM, then go to modify, uh, linear dimension, you make it zero. Then go to text, take the text height as three, text alignment, align with dimension line, under text placement, centered should be vertical above, then offset from the dimension line as two, then symbols and arrows, take the arrow size as three, and then go to lines, make that as uh, offset from the origin as 2mm. And then go to OK and sensor close. Now we need to go for dimension. So you, here you take INT of this, take intersection point of this, dim, take intersection point of this, and take INT of this. We're going to get 10mm here. Then go to dim, take INT of this, intersection point of this. So here we want this distance as 15. Once you get this, now we need to find out the true length. So to do that, then we have a nearest point on this then perpendicular to this so you got 50 in switch of the dim mode or ortho mode 
then go to int of this and here you take int of this so here you go to text so here you type tl so put the caps lock on tl equals question mark so you place it wherever you want and go to break break this line till here then you need to go for uh, dim the nearest on this then perpendicular to this so you're going to get 55 then go to angular select between these two so you're going to get it as 30 degrees then uh, you go to angular then dim go to dim then uh, then go to dim select angular between this line and this line so you go to texture so you place give space enter so it will be uh, 41.63 so you come down to this so go to list list select this line so you're going to get it as there you just uh, change this go to ddim go to modify take a decimal in degrees up to second decimal point and say okay so now we will check dim angular between angular select between this line and this line so you're going to get it as 41.63 so okay so we have 41.63 then go to ddim then modify go to precision make it zero and say okay and say close now we have uh, the dimensions have been done now we will go for the text to be written so to do that so i'll go for d text so select this line take height as three rotation angle as zero type x and you mark this as y and you mark this as vp you mark this as HP and you mark this as capital A and here also capital A here as capital B here as locus of B and here as locus of B and here as capital B and put off the caps lock you make it as a dash and here it is a and here it is b here it is b dash uh, then uh, you have b1 dash here so you mark this as uh, b1 dash and this as b1 and here it is uh, b2 here it has b2 dash then uh, the directions of projection so to do that, so go to leader, take nearest, and from here you draw tangential to this annotation option. Then leader, take nearest. So select this and draw tangentially to that arc annotation option. Then switch on the ortho mode. Then go to leader, nearest, on this side annotation option then go to leader nearest select this and you take this here annotation option then go to explore select this line this this and this then go to erase erase this erase this erase this and erase this then switch off the ortho mode then go to zoom window you just come down to zoom window you take move go to x then vp then hp here it is a dash here it is capital a here it is b2 dash here it is y Again, it is A here, 
capital A here is B1 then zoom previous then go to move B2 then locus of B then here it is B dash capital B or B1 dash here it is B here it is locus of B once you do that now we need to set the planes now so change these front views now go to layer make this as front view then you click on this and make this layer as top view then you click on A and this to B and go to layer sorry make that color only you change that color to blue then you just go to dim TED select this angle and you keep it here similarly go to M text select this and you mark this uh, formatting go to symbol select this and you mark this as fly then move place it wherever you want now we need to write the text so go to the text so type answers so now you go to the text here you type true length then go to the text it will be ninety point zero zero camera then go to zoom window then go to true length so go to line switch on the ortho mode then go to move so place it wherever you want then again go to line take end point and draw a horizontal line and also vertical line go to line nearest point on this you draw a one more line then go to offset take the distance as six and uh, then go to again offset six then go to trim select this as the cutting edge and object to trim as these two then go to copy sorry move select between these two then go to copy copy select this and copy this here so for this you have to have 41.63 so go to dd edit so you take uh, 41.63 percentage percentage d degree symbol now we go to zoom previous then go to copy switch of the ortho mode select this file and copy it here so this is how you will be able to solve this problem then go to zoom window and check this uh, with the one which we have already created here so both will going to have the same thing so this is how we will be able to solve this problem by using AutoCAD software thank you